here's how the Lord showed it. See, God is interested in people. He's interested in people of faith, people responding to Him by faith. If He came back today, all He's looking for is, will we have faith? The nations are as, as a drop in the bucket to Him. That's what Isaiah said. And so you want to you want to understand in every nation there's a people that he's looking at that's rising up by faith. Now, this is how the Lord showed it. He showed me that the key is God's prophetic people. He took me to 2 Kings 7 with Elisha where there was such a drought, shortage of food, and Elisha prophesied this thing's going to change in a day. Well, one of the key officers of that of the nation said, this will not change in, in a day. And Elisha said, you'll see it change in a day. And do you know who believed him? Four lepers <laughs> believed him. And those four lepers said, we ain't got anything to do. We're just going to die anyway. We might as well jump in on this faith element and believe with what the prophet's saying. And all of a sudden, that thing happened within a day. And things changed, and those lepers became wealthy overnight. <laughs> Now, here's what I want to say to us. God can birth a nation in a day. God can change a nation in a day. And yet we've got to have that prophetic decree that is so important right now to say, <coughs> how will this shift? I decree right now in America, I'm going to decree it again. We will get a backbone. We will not be ensnared by anything that's going on to pull us into captivity so Russia turns on us and causes a lack of favor to come against us. I decree right now that the Ukraine will rise up and say, we are advancing. I say to all of you Ukrainians that will hear this, rise up and begin to decree. I say to all of you Russians that have come out from under this structure of a uh, communist church, I say rise up and decree freedom is coming. And we decree right now nations will begin to submit themselves to the Lord in a new way. And we will watch miracles begin to happen in all of this. Now, wow. I believe right now that there are so many snares for America in this. And that's what I am praying. Lord, don't let us misfire. Don't let us misfire. Don't let us be even enticed and entangled in this in a way that we can't stay clear in how we see our future. Mm -hmm. And we are in we are in a tremendous war right mm -hmm. now over our future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I so appreciate it. That's why when you wrote yesterday, I just knew we had to discuss this because mm -hmm. it is the very key thing that I know people are saying, well, all I want to know is how to go get groceries from the grocery store. <laughs> you know, this is all part of it. Mm -hmm. Because China now has supply lines all encapsulated where we were tearing down that structure two years ago, and now we're back under the control and supply lines are being controlled. I decree right now that there are things beginning to break open and right decrees will start being made. I say raise up the Cyruses throughout this land to make those decrees that need to be made so that we are not ensnared in a trap that we don't need to be ensnared in. God has sent you a signet ring. Signet rings <laughs> were used for many things, but one of the things that they would do is when the king the spirit, made a proclamation, when the king would write a proclamation, the way you knew it was from the king, they would seal it with the signet ring on hot wax. And that way everyone knew that that was a word from the king. You represent the kingdom of God. All of us represent the kingdom of God. Wouldn't it be wonderful if there were a decree written that, that ties into what you just decreed and prophesied 
And let's put the signet to it and set ourselves in agreement with that for what needs to happen. I feel the Spirit of God saying right now, starting around uh, March the 20th, up until nine months from then, we are, God is starting to turn some things to realign nations. We decree right now that just as Esther rose up and gained favor, I decree that Esther's will rise up and gain favor. See, there's something about the Esther right now in these nations. And I decree that they will have strategy for nine months to end up overthrowing structure after structure that's trying to stop up the next move of God and harvest in the nations. And I decree right now, this signet ring represents the next nine months beginning at Purim for an uprising of faith in God's people, especially in Iran, in Russia, in Ukraine, and we say that there will be a realignment of God's people and the kingdom of God in those lands. Yes, and now we decree over Purim, I think it starts like maybe March 16th of this year, we decree a Purim. We decree, Father God, we speak over the nations, Father God, that there will be a turnaround in a day. Lord, we're asking for these divine turnarounds. Father, we thank you, Lord. The anointing is coming upon the body of Christ to call for turnarounds for Purims. And out of that time is going to come a release of wealth, a release of finance, a release of blessing that is going to be so astounding. So I decree over you that Esther turn around. I decree over you that Haman's will fall. I decree over you that what the enemy is doing in nations and in your family will boomerang, will turn back against the enemy in the name of Jesus, and you will have promotion. And I decree that even though you've been beat down, even though the enemy has tried to take you out with disease like these lepers, the Lord said, I can change it. Say that again, Chuck. Yeah, you froze up, Chuck. I, yeah, I bet the enemy froze that one. Yeah, when, you, when you said <laughs> change. The lepers who had been beat down, who were on the verge of dying, they said, we don't have a thing to lose. Some of us have gone through such hell over the last three years. We ain't got anything to lose except to decree faith. I say you will jump into this faith river that's coming by your door and faith will arise and you will see a mighty move and ship in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, turn around. We can do better than that. And just take this apart. Analyze what the Lord is saying. Take it to your prayer meetings and God is going to do a great work. Thank you. God bless you. Till Thanks, next Chuck. time. Thank you, you, Chuck. Guys. Hopefully we will see you really soon. <laughs> I think we'll war together to the end. <laughs> I think we will too. Love you. Love All you. Right. God bless well, bye, you. Bye, everybody. Bye, 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 everybody.